React is one of the most popular libraries for creating UI application. And there's a lot of different ways of setting up React. It can kind of become overwhelming when you're just starting out and you need to set up React and there's so many different options. So in this video, I'm going to simplify how to set up React with just two minutes of setup. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Shruti Kapoor and I'm on a mission to make you the best developer you're meant to be. I'm creating this video so you can understand how easy it is to set up React with Vite in just under two minutes. So if you have an editor handy, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open our terminal and type npm create wheat latest. And this is going to create a wheat project and install the latest version of wheat on your computer. Click OK to proceed and type a project name. We're going to say React Hooks. And here you can choose different options available. So as you can see, not only does it help you install React, but also other things like just vanilla JavaScript, a view framework, Preact, Svelte, Solid, or other things. Now you can either select TypeScript, JavaScript, or a framework. Let's go with JavaScript for now. Okay, I'm gonna run npm run dev after doing an npm install, and my local environment is set up. So it gives you a URL, just open that URL in the browser. Okay, so this is my URL. The first time you install a Vite app, it actually gives you a bunch of template, and it's just a way for showing you that React is now set up. So you can open this file in your editor, which is app.jsx. And it tells you here that you can edit app.jsx to say and save to test HMR, which is hot module reloading. So we're going to test that just to make sure that our environment is fully set up and ready to use. You can also get more information about Vite and React by clicking on the links in the template itself, which is super handy. And you can see there is an, there's actually a functioning button in this app as well, which is a counter, just a set state counter, simple button. But it's nice to see that our app is fully set up and good to go. So let's make sure that this actually works by actually editing this H1. Instead of Vite to React, I'm going to say my app. And you see that the title is updated, which means hot module reloading is also working. Cool, and our app is ready to go. 